So May 28th, 2020 marked my one year anniversary at Lambda School. Um, for those of you that don't know what Lambda School is, it's an online boot camp. They offer programs for uh, a few different technology careers. The one that I'm specifically in is the full stack web development program. They also offer uh, UX, data science. My particular course, the full stack web, it starts with HTML, CSS, goes on to learning uh, JavaScript, then React, uh, then Node, and then we move into Labs, which is essentially us just building a real world project using the Agile methodology. And then we go into finishing up the entire program with computer science. So we actually learn the, the uh, we get the hands-on knowledge from the beginning and then circle around and end it with some theory and really learning um, on a deep level kind of how computers work and learning about different algorithms and stuff. Uh, we're actually going to be starting computer science next week. So I'm uh, really excited about that. But anyways, I want to talk about my experience so far, some of the pros, some of the cons, and hopefully help uh, you make the decision whether maybe you're on the fence of, you know, if you're trying to decide if you actually want to go to Lambda School. So I hope this video will help make your decision. Before I get started, I just want to give you a small detail here. I'm taking a part-time course and the schedule is Monday through Thursday. For me, it's six to nine central. And then I have my fifth day, which is on Saturday. Um, if you're taking the part-time program, you get the choice of Friday, Saturday, or Sunday as your fifth day. Uh, I chose Saturday, but you can choose whatever you want. The full-time schedule, if you chose to take full-time, is actually Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. So it's like a full-time job. I still have to work, so I was not able to, to, to uh, actually do the full-time program. Uh, the full-time program is nine months. The part-time program is 18 months, so I am at about, yeah, I'm at 12 months, one, one year is 12 months. So as for the pros, I think the biggest pro for me is the community. Um, the, the community of like-minded people who are all like on the same path, not the exact same path, but you're all moving in the same direction, you're all, you all have very similar goals, and you're all learning the same thing at the same time. Uh, it really does a lot to keep you motivated. It really helps push you to be your best. Um, and you always feel like you have a safety net. So like you can screw up. There's, there's help channels on our, on our Lambda Slack. You know, you, you always have your team leads to reach out to. You have section leads to reach out to. You can directly contact the instructors. So there's this really big community of people and you really feel like you're taking care of. So I really like that aspect of it. Uh, the schedule for me is great because the part-time schedule, it allowed me to actually do this while I'm working during the day. So I'm, I'm moving towards, you know, a better place, a better career, all while still being able to work. With all of that being said, also part of the community aspect is the accountability there. Because everyone else is doing their thing with you, you're really like pushed to show up and and do your thing every day because you you want to keep up you know it really motivates you to just stay in the game and keep going because uh, you're all I mean it's tough it's it's a tough program I don't want to discredit that at all it's tough so having all those people around you really holds you accountable and keeps you going and when you know you're gonna have to have your one-on-one -on -one with your team lead if you haven't done your stuff, then you're going to really feel dumb. So the third thing is the, the income share agreement. So there's a lot of controversy around the income share agreement, but for me, without the income share agreement, I would not have been able to go to school. I just was not in a financial position to put up, you know, the five, $10,000 up front to go to another coding boot camp, So that actually turned out to be um, a huge, huge blessing for me. And it's the reason why I'm here now. So 
another pro is they have actually have a careers program. So they do all kinds of career coaching. They help you, uh, they help you move through that whole territory of actually looking for a job, which is what, what a lot of other boot camps don't offer. You get a personal uh, career coach for you and they'll, they're with you through the entire process. So if you get an offer or you're about to do an interview, they give you the appropriate advice at the appropriate time. And it actually was a huge help for me in actually getting my job because I was actually able to start a job about four months, four months prior to this video um, back in January. So that was huge, that was huge. Um, and I'm super, super grateful for that. And it's a huge, huge pro in, in my book. The last thing is the, the live instructors have just been across the board excellent, just amazing. Uh, and their, their engagement with their students is, is really cool. Their knowledge of, of the industry, you know, these are so far have all been people who actually work in the industry and they're teaching us at night. Um, so they kind of have a side hustle, you know, where they're actually instructing us. And so not only do we get this excellent curriculum from industry professionals, we also get the perspective of what it's like to be a professional developer. So that's really cool. So those are some of the really awesome things that I love about Lambda School. And now let's get into some of the not so awesome things. So some of the cons are, so I guess to give a little background, you each group that you're divided up into a cohort. Um, cohort's a big group of people. Ours was about 150, 160 to start out. And you basically are divided up into smaller groups of, you know, between five to eight people. And you, every one of those groups gets a team lead. A team lead is typically someone who is further along in the, in the curriculum, who is actually teaching you what they've just learned. So it is this kind of cool, uh, way that they set it up. So it could be a pro, but I put it as a con here because the team leads are incredibly inconsistent. Um, I've had, I've had a couple that were really awesome. And by the way, they switch every, every unit you have, you get a new team lead. Um, <clears throat> so I've had a couple that were really awesome and I've had, I've had a couple that were really bad, like really not helpful at all. Their vetting process for who is qualified to be a team lead, I think may, might need some work. Uh, that being said, I do, I do think that the idea is really cool because as a team lead, I'm sure you're able to really reinforce what you've learned by going back and, uh, and teaching students that are coming behind you. So um, if it's something that you might be interested in, maybe you wanna be a team lead, if you join, um, you can apply to do that and you actually get paid a little bit. You, 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 don't, well, you get paid a little bit, you get paid minimum wage for your state. Um, so it's not a lot, but you know, if it's, if it might be something that's good for you in your situation. So the next thing is the curriculum is kind of inconsistent. Also, uh, some parts of the curriculum are really good. And then parts of it are just kind of unclear. And what I mean by the curriculum is specifically, we have what's called a training kit. And that training kit has the entire curriculum from A to Z, from start to finish. You, and you get this at the beginning, which is pretty cool. Um, but there's some parts of it that are just kind of inconsistent. They have a mixture between videos and uh, text format on the training kit, but there's just certain parts of it that they, it just needs to be rewritten is what it comes down to. Also on top of that, this is in the part-time program. I'm not sure how exactly they do it in the full-time program, but in the part-time program, the back end part of the curriculum is one unit. It's only one unit. And the front end was, let's see, we had, I think four or five units in the front end. So if you're looking for, you know, more back end heavy, guidance or instruction, then this might not be the curriculum for you. Uh, but we were taught Node, and I know in the full-time program, you get to choose between Node or Java. So, but in our case, 
part-time program students only had we were only had node available to us I will say though that where the training kit lacks those live instructors that I was talking about before they really make up for it and I've even had we've even had instructors that say like yeah this this page on the training kit is not really good so actually here's a good way to do it or here's a better way to do it or here's the way that's the industry standard or let me explain this in a way that makes more sense so that kind of makes up for that but if you're trying to just reference the training kit materials sometimes you're like eh eh and then you got to go google it so the way Lambda is set up, we have you have a unit and then you have a build week and then you have a unit build week. So at the every end of every unit, you have a build week, right? And so you actually have, they're starting new cohorts at every unit. So you have a cohort in front of you. So we were web, we are web part time eight. So web part time nine is one unit behind us. Web part time seven is one unit ahead of us. So by the time you get to the build week, the idea is you have one or two people from each of those build weeks along the curriculum that all come together and you build this uh, application over, it's called build week, but it's actually two weeks because part-time everything is twice as long, which is a really cool idea. And so you have people that are just starting out that are only doing HTML, CSS, and you got people from JavaScript, you got people in React, you got people doing Node. So you have this full like kind of, developer crew and you're all coming together to like bring your skills together and create something awesome the problem is the reason why i'm calling this a con is because the schedules for those lining up were inconsistent for us i know it was us specifically part-time nine seven or six like theirs seemed to line up ours didn't so we would have several build weeks where we didn't have a full crew. I remember one, we didn't have a backend guy, so we actually had to use uh, these backends that were built by students before us, but they weren't fully tested and we ran into tons of problems, like they didn't work properly in a lot of ways. So it was just kind of, kind of frustrating in that way. And honestly, I feel like we missed out on a lot of really quality experience working with a team but that's not a huge con but it, it does it does kind of weigh on my 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 experience so i wanted to share you know make sure you're aware of that it might not happen for you 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 might get a great cohort and you might go through and everything lines up just right but for us it didn't work that way unfortunately um the last thing was there seemed to be some kind of changes that the company itself wanted to make while we were in the middle of our curriculum so one of the cool things that i really like about lambda is they're constantly accepting feedback from from the students about uh you know how their process is going uh the curriculum like everything and they 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 weigh that feedback and then they actually do update their curriculum they update their process they update you know their um their help desk and stuff as you go. So every time you have a new cohort coming in, you, you might have some new changes. This particular one, this during our particular cohort, they made a, a major change to the schedule itself and where it was uh, five weeks and then a build week, and then five weeks and a build week, they actually switched the curriculum, like major overhaul to it. So it became four weeks and a build week Etc. and then they switched up the way that the units were spread out. So it's like basically the same curriculum, but they batched it differently. So you actually get one extra build week in the end. And that part's cool, but the problem here is we had this just purgatory week where they were just like, they didn't know what to do with this. So there was like, yeah, just review, just review for this week because we had that extra week once they changed everything. Uh, so that was a little awkward. But anyways, I think overall, like I've had a great experience with Lambda and, you know, I've met people through Lambda school all over the country that I'm really good friends with now and I will be friends with even after this. And you just can't really, uh, you can't really put a price on like 
really like meeting genuine friends and, and, and being part of this great community of people, of students, of alumni. And I, I really think that it's worth it, especially if you're in a situation where you don't have the money to put up front. You know, if you don't have 5K or 10K just lying around to actually put into your education, then this might be a good opportunity for you to, you know, advance your career or, or you know, start a new career and, and actually be able to, to make a really good living and, uh, you know, do something that you'll really love. One major thing that happened to us also is obviously uh, COVID-19. That whole thing happened in the middle of our curriculum and Lambda actually, for the part-time program, we actually shut down for two weeks um, when, the, when the whole quarantine self-isolation thing started. We took two, we all took two weeks off and it was right in the middle of our labs project. And honestly, we, when we took that two weeks off, we kind of lost the momentum that we had from the beginning. And that's not against Lambda. That was something that, you know, no one, no one could have predicted it happening like that. And so it just kind of is what it is. I'm not putting that as a con, but that was part of my experience. And along with that whole, you know, coronavirus thing happening, they actually laid off about 15 people. And one of those people was my personal career coach. And I was very, very bummed about that. Uh, I had actually already gotten hired prior to this happening. So I wasn't directly working with him, you know, on a regular basis anymore, but it was still kind of, it, it still was kind of disheartening to see him be laid off because he's such a good guy and I know he's helped a ton of people, including me. Uh, so I was kind of bummed about that, but you know, business is business. And you know, at the end of the day, you gotta, you gotta keep it moving and, and uh, in whatever way that is. And so I, I guess they felt like that was the right thing or, you know, there's a thing that they needed to do to keep going. But at the end of the day, I would recommend going to Lambda School. It could be a really great thing for you. If you're the type of person that really needs the, the structure and the, the path laid out, then I think it can be really good for you. And it's been really great for me. And it's, it's the reason why I have a job today. So um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, you know what to do. Um, I hope that you will subscribe. And other than that, I hope you have a great day. And if you do decide that you want to sign up to Lambda, please let me know. And I would love to uh, offer any advice or help you in any way that I can. Much love. Cheers.